He's feisty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we are already fighting so where we're sitting. Shoes with chairs. So I know. We're going to chair. Gotta get, you got to get comfy for this kind of stuff. Yeah. Fumble some words and fumble. I ain't things fumbling any wrong. words today. <laughs> I might just be scooting around in my chair uncontrollably, <laughs> but I'm not fumbling anything. You folks are in for a wild one today. So we're here today to talk about our bamboo printer 90 days later 90 90 what 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 have we printed experiences did you remix it yeah what we printed so 90 days that's a fortnight plus some other months you can't say fortnight no one's gonna understand how that timeline is they're gonna think that's like 20 minutes of a battle royale well it's not even I'm like, never mind <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so yeah we're gonna show off some of the good things that have come from that machine that really has been running non-stop since yeah that whole 90 days started spoiler i don't know how many rolls of filament i've gone through at this point been a lot yeah and I, I bring them to him quite often, too. And you know, print print your world, man. So I'll just kind of go in the order of some of the stuff we tried printing because I had 3D printers previously and spectacularly just failed prints. Like, I'd get one good print out of every five or six. So, And, and this is the bamboo, just for those that weren't the bamboo aware. P1S. Yes. I do not have the AMS system yet, so mine's just printing single color. I don't have the fancy... Mm -hmm. AMS on top. So I'll just go in kind of the order I started printing things because, you know, I've been scarred by my 3D printing experiences. So the first thing I did was. Sounds serious. I started with some simple, just printing of, you know, a lot of storage type devices for my different games that I use in my analog pocket mm -hmm. in the adapter. So you got your Turbo Graphics case, which. Most of these models, if someone has a comment, they're looking for them. They most of them came off Thingiverse or Maker's World. Um, we have a Game nice. Gear case as well. It says they put Sega on the front, which it's kind of one of my little pet peeves on all these, all these three D printed stuff. For some reason, everybody wants to put a label on the front of their design. Say? Sega. Well, this one says Hue Cards. Hue Card. It's what it is. That's, That's a Hue Card. Are. Yeah. Turbo Graphics games are called Hue Cards. Yeah. I didn't know that. Switch controller stand. Pretty simple print. I've printed the stands for like the Steam Deck, my ROG Ally, every handheld that's over that. there on that arcade. Just holds it up in the air. Nice and stable, actually. It's cool. Next to the Hue cards. Yeah, the Hue cards. Hue card. No wonder it failed. <laughs> and then like everybody else, you start wanting to do some fun prints. Some fidgets of uh -huh. sorts. So I moved on and uh, oh, ho, ho. started printing these monster truck tires. Fun print in place prints that literally by print in place it just prints like this you pop it off the print bed and it's so wild to it me it spins still, that it just prints it all in one that, that blows my mind and the quality is doesn't take much you know i'm pretty amazing and then someone else <laughs> remixed a little stand for this one so nice. it, just, it even has spike holders yeah so it just sits on there on its stand so that was one of the many that's impressive digits you see all those spikes, the spike holes right here. Nice, they just fit right in. It doesn't go anywhere. And then a little Groot action figure, and these are pretty cool. I think it was uh, they're called I think Model Thirteen, but someone made like people will make weapons and things for them. They all have different hands. But someone made Groot armor for the little toy robots. So, like, you can make all these robots, and someone made this cool little Groot armor that you can attach to it. And it's, you know, he's posable. The joints are all 
bendable as the head twists. That's wild. And this just printed and you you just popped each joint together and you have a a little group and he actually stands up and is good to go. Cue card. So and all of this stuff was printed with PLA. Um I also printed with Pet G. One of the more popular things that you see a lot of times nowadays are these dragons. <laughs> this is a crystal dragon. It printed extremely well. I mean it's 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 a good size. Mm-hmm. So and this was just one print. You just pop it off the print bed and it's it's good to go. This one will have to get a little closer angle on, but this is just a little, another little print in place fidget. You know, I don't even know what you call this thing, but it moves around and it, you know, it's... I think it's a hexagramal mover. Yeah, those hexagramal movers. <laughs> yeah. You can put it under your couch leg and make your couch rotate. And it started getting a little bit fancier. So it's got a hat. More. We ended up with some more spinny. And this was with some PLA silk filament. It's actually three colors. Purple, blue. That one's pretty. And green. And what else would you print with a multicolor single thing? And that would be... The sun. Let's do a, a something that spins so you can see all the colors. And then I slowly... Here's another sample of one of the silk filaments. So it's purple to blue. And I actually modeled this one myself for a little soccer team award. But it's pretty cool, the filament that mm -hmm. it's kind of like those old car paint jobs that, you know, people used to do the chameleon ones. We drove down the road and reflected mm -hmm. in different colors. Sure. Our, one of our most famous prints probably came after that. Yes. Our seven minutes of uncertainty dice tower for our uh -huh. arcade games. Tune into those videos if you don't and you'll see it. You know, I we didn't print the sticker. No, but, you, but know, you know, but, you know, I mean, hey, it's. It's pretty I mean, solid. It's brandable. This is one of everybody's favorite objects. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure I've printed. I don't know how many of these. Once someone plays with one of these, yeah, you can't stop. I'm not even. I think they call these like impossible shapes, and they just, you know, you can put it through upside down. It's like a Pringles that you can't eat. Yeah, I mean, once you. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. And that's, I got jokes. They got different shapes, all sorts of different things on these. Yeah. Oh, that, different that sizes. Awesome. Yeah, these, that everybody loves. Pretty cool print in place thing. This is a marble maze. This was printed all at once. You just bought some small ball bearings and you twist. It goes all through the ice castle. And you get, uh, you know, three different mazes, and you just, you yeah, know, you can just keep playing with it for, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty impressive print quality-wise. It really is. It's, it's, this was a transparent Pet G, like, a gradient one. So then after I started doing a bunch of successful prints, I started playing with, I ordered some TPU, which is actually squishy. So you can squish it. It's not gonna looks like those those fake ice cubes. Yeah. So this this is kind of fun. Don't put it in your drink. Outside of phone cases though, and something like this, I'm not hundred percent sure what I would use it for. Cause here it is as a ping pong ball. An airless ping pong ball, which I mean the Bouncing isn't quite there. Where's the ball? One quick example of the flex I forgot. Kindle Scribe case. I didn't want to pay 40 bucks for a case. So I used the TPU and this is a pretty good example. I mean, you can just completely roll it up, bend it. And it's, it's not going anywhere. 
And when he first showed me this, I honestly I didn't even know he printed this. That's how cool it was. I just he was showing me his Kindle, and I had I just thought he bought a case. Um, because I mean this thing will protect it. After those toys, I felt a little more confident in the printer's abilities, and I started printing bigger. <laughs> We've moved on to household decor. I printed a pot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, why not? Why not? Ah, you know, I mean, this is a good size print. It looks it nice. Works. It does. Plant pot. The cost of filament on this was probably like four dollars. Basically, at this point, he's walking around the house trying to see what all oh, parts he can either add and or replace in his home. A wire holder, because why not? He also has drawers on his desk that he can't take off. Yeah, I got, got I got I got a standing desk that had no drawers, so I printed two drawers for it. I mean, <laughs> he also printed a know. car. Everything, why not? <laughs> you know. All right, so now we get a little bit crazier. We because we're not enough. Bamboo also sells light kits, and people have made models for these light kits. Which, you know, it's 3D printed, so lots of people can print whatever they want. USB powered, and check this. Oh, uh, look at that. So, you know, it's very light, too. Like, I'm talking extremely lightweight. It, it puts off some good light. It is. Uh, so that's so the, one of so the it, lamps. It went thicker yeah, on like, certain yeah, parts, so and someone... then it's really amazingly thin to let the light shine through so that was a pretty cool little lamp project i think this printed only like three hours like it's the guy that modeled that did an excellent well job. done guy who did that and probably one of the cooler ones so this one someone rendered the moon from nasa images <laughs> i mean you don't get much more uh i don't know how well this show up but hold it up there and put something behind it something for there, there you go see you got see it see it shows the craters it is that's it is a, very impressive a, it is that was one of the cooler prints this was about 16 hours not to be outdone on you know evolving print quality now i gotta hold that I want to hold the moon 3d printed an led sign it's pretty bright mm -hmm. like me it hooks up through wi-fi look at that look at that logo it's a 32 by 32 led grid it printed diffuser tiles to make it look more square it's just standard led lights underneath in a frame that soldered and wired together you know so overall nice. all of that plus more the first 90 days was in 90 <laughs> days i have storage for all my handhelds my handheld games yeah i printed like dreamcast xbox playstation controller holders there's probably stuff i'm forgetting i mean i printed all the toys for the gravity hill over there for people to win you printed me yeah i'm not real it's i mean i haven't printed a a floor outlet cover and i modeled that and printed that down you know in the house to cover up the the bad plug you know so all that to say issues with the bamboo my bamboo printer i have had one problem in 90 days it's not fast enough to print things. You could have, yeah, out, I know. You could have outputted I, so much more. I should have printed an entire <laughs> arcade cabinet. But the dinosaur pill. I had a couple of spots on my print bed that didn't get warm enough for small parts to stay stuck down. But I just if it's a small part, I just don't put it on that very edge of the print bed, basically. And that problem solved. I've had a couple of I've had a couple rolls of filament that actually the roll itself was bad 
and it tangled on the spool like it wouldn't pull through. So I can't blame the printer on that. Other than that, if I've had a failed print, it's probably because I did something stupid in the settings. Not bad. Very little complaints. Not a bad track record for all you've done. And I will say from... I think I've probably sold two bamboo printers from people talking to me and seeing all this craziness because... You know, if I have a 3D printer that can print, I might as well just keep printing. Where all this stuff goes, who knows? <laughs> the only thing I've had it not print nicely was I tried to print some little minis for games, which you really need to use a resin printer for anyway. So those didn't turn out great, but I haven't tried the higher detailed nozzle yet, which they'll turn out better, but still not resin quality. Talk about durability. You know, that thing's been going uh, you know, week after week when... You know, when I'm here, uh, it's uh, it's printing a lot of times. So, uh, very impressive printer. No tinkering. Mm -mm. I have not done, yeah, anything with this thing. I I think I I bought a different build plate, a smooth one, just to have a smooth print for actually that the LED sign. If you hadn't seen our video on the 15 minute setup, check it out because uh, I, I yeah. mean that's really the last oh, thing we pretty yeah. much did with it. Yeah, uh, we did the know, setup and I then send stuff to it and, and then uh, moved it from where we so, set it up. But that was it. Yep. It's, it's done and out the door. So but we wanted to give you an update and show you some of the cool things that have come off the, that printer. And, uh, and like I said, if anyone sees any cool models that they want to try to print themselves that we've shown here, or just let us know and we'll respond to your comments with the link to the... Yeah. So let's call uh, where, we, where we got it so you can because all these all these models have been free so i did pray for a couple storage case ones kissing yeah. the dragon huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and likewise if you guys have something that you've printed on your 3d printer that would be cool let us know yeah because uh because obviously I, he's not stopping anytime yeah, soon. I need more to print. <laughs> All right. But uh, thanks a lot. Check it out. And uh, we'll do another update uh, maybe in another 90 days and see what's next. Yeah. And we won't even be able to sit at the table because it will just... Or I'll print the table. We'll pr oh, print a table and an arcade. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> let's print a new studio. Sweet. All right. See you next time. Boop, boop. Oh.